Hi there, this is Indoor Girl. In Dwayne the Rockwood Camper, this is a 2014 uh, Rockwood A122S uh, A-frame camper. And I wanted to show you, um, after two seasons, how things have finally worked out, how we like to camp, and the things that we use. So this video is probably going to be a little longer than normal, uh, so please forgive me. But I figure you're watching this to kind of watch some stuff anyway about the camper. So I'm going to start over here on the dinette side. Uh, like, I'm sorry about my finger in there. Uh, <laughs> and so like most folks, we've taken out the dinette table. It was just too big, bulky, and impractical. Uh, instead, my husband made two sets of boards with hinges in between uh, that fold up and up against the back wall, kind of form a nice shelf there uh, when we need them. And then when our teenage son's along with us, um, he actually folds those out and then we can use the back cushions from the dinette to make up the bed for him. So uh, he doesn't come along with us as much anymore uh, now that he's a little older, but um, that's what we do with that one. That toaster oven I got from Walmart for, it was under $30. That has been like crucial to my happiness. Uh, I baked everything with biscuits in there and, and croissants and warmed up things and everything like that. It's really a useful thing. Most of the time I actually put it outside on that table that hangs on the side of the, of the camper and, uh, use it out there. So, uh, especially in the summer, it doesn't heat up the camper that way. And it's, we're kind of tight for space in here. Um, so this setup allows us to use the dinette if we want to. I do have an aluminum table, a uh, small folding table that fits there if we decide to use it. Now underneath there, you can see I bought a travel, like a car organizer uh, with three big bins in it. It's a really nice one. I, I went ahead and invested a little money in a nicer one uh, that I got from Amazon. And then uh, like a lot of folks, I use these tubs here to help organize things. Um, and so that's what we've got going on over there. If we come around to this side, um, I've got my uh, toiletries organizer. And then I've got several of these shoe organizers, like over the door things. Uh, but instead, I use the grommet holes on hooks. Or this one, I've got a, a string tied through it. And it goes up and over uh, the latch there. And uh, that's where we can put lots of stuff. See my hubby out there getting ready to go fishing. All right, as we come around over here, um, this rack I used to have over the stove, but I found it's a pain in the butt to move it, you know, kind of shift it around because the stove top didn't exactly come up well in between it. Uh, but this is where I keep my nesting pot and pan set and my tea kettle, and there's our AeroPress coffee maker. Uh, it's a French press that's really convenient. And my, you know, my dishes and things like that. And my husband made this little uh, wooden shelf thing uh, that's made out of the excess lumber from the boards that he made for the, the dinette. Um, and that's extra handy. We put a projector on there when we have Wi-Fi or I bring my computer. Um, and that's how we kind of watch TV. Uh, so that's when we use the camper as a hotel and less as a camper. And uh, so right now it's set up as a camper. Um, so we don't have that set up. So, um, And then here's some more of those little shoe pockets there to, to stick odds and ends in. Um, and it makes lots of nice space over here. And I find that it works out really well. The metal rack I got from, I want to say Lowe's, but you can buy them almost um, almost anywhere. Uh, of course, the beds, um, kind of half made up. This is what I, we really live like in here. So you're not seeing it super shiny, clean, and impractical. This is what we look like when we're camping. My husband's CPAP that's right under this metal rack. Uh, we are in our 50s. We have those things. Uh, fits under this metal rack that I got also at Lowe's, but you can buy them pretty much at any store. Um, and that lifts it up so that we can fit things under there. And then it elevates our um, my silverware um, basket that I keep my hand towels rolled, or my dish towels rolled up inside there. And I put all sorts of utensils and silverware and stuff in there along with my paper towel roll, my spray cleaners. One thing I do want to recommend is that when you buy spray cleaners, make sure, or cleaners and soaps and things like that, because this is such a small space, make sure it's a smell you really like uh, and kind of fresh and doesn't give anybody a migraine. So just a little extra tip for you there. Um, and so as we're coming down here, this carboy has really saved us. Um, we put drinking water in there and it makes it really easy to use. We don't have to worry about filters and stuff or the water tastes coming from from the city water tap when we have it. Um, and it is it is really handy. We can bring our water from home uh, for drinking and, and making coffee and stuff. I do have a collapsible dish bin. I can see it's out there still from when I was doing dishes early on. And that saves space. When that's dry, it goes under the sink. And so under the sink, I have, uh, that's where I keep my nesting bowl set that I got at Walmart. Also, the little pans that go on my toaster oven 
Uh, some of them came with it, and then I bought a little extra set um, for their, of course, dish soap and dish brushes, and I keep spare plastic bags down there that goes into my trash can. And so that's coming around on this side. Um, for a projector screen, we use a big piece of foam board. Just kind of up on that side. Um, I, we don't have the projector up right now, but that's kind of blocking out the light in the morning, giving me a little bit of extra darkness uh, so I can sleep. And then we have command hooks over here with another one of those shoe things. Our teenager puts all his stuff in this rack because there's an outlet uh, right down there uh, when he stays with us. And then we're back around to the front. Right. And then the one last uh, bit I want to show you is down low here. Right, and so I got one of those big cereal containers for a trash can. The grocery bags fit inside it perfect. And the lid closes and it's nice so you don't have to look at nasty trash. And then we took the microwave out. Um, the door had kind of broken anyway. It wasn't very usable. We pulled it out. I put a piece of uh, kind of cardboard to protect all the wires back in there that go to the radio and such. And then uh, I got these bins. Oh, at a really good price um, on Amazon, and they fit perfect in there, and that's where I keep our snacks and things like that in that one. And then, of course, there's the drawer down below where I keep odds and ends there, too. I hope this video isn't too long and that it's been helpful. Oh, Jackery, highly recommend it. Gives you extra USB outlets, especially if you're in a little bit of an older model like ours that doesn't have built-in USB outlets. Okay, I think that's it. Um, so this is what we got. Um, I hope this video helps out in deciding what you would like, how you might like to organize your pop-up Avery camper. All this stuff does pack down uh, over onto the dinette and around the dinette and under the dinette when we when we travel, and it fits there just perfect. And I can tear it down and just it takes me like 15 minutes uh, to take it down and put it up, so it's not very difficult at all. all. Right? Questions are welcome, or if you have suggestions that might come in handy, I would surely appreciate it. And we will see everybody next time.